The residents of Sun City always kickstart their day with some exercise, at least those who can. Though able to walk now, 80-year-old Liu Jinghe, a former local Communist Party chief, could barely move when his sons first brought him here. I wasn't too thrilled in the beginning, but they are both billionaires, so I'm okay with it. I like it here. This is Sun City, a privately run community on 42 square kilometers, geared specifically towards the elderly. It has its own hospital, temple and supermarket. There are houses in manicured villages and custom-built apartments, all sold or rented only to those above 60 years old. Leaving the elderly on their own or in someone else's care is not a popular idea in Chinese families. It's almost seen as a failure to comply with familial duty. But despite that, occupancy here is at 100%. Former policeman Zhu Feng Bo came up with the idea after his father died. Zhu felt like he failed to care for him as he should have and wanted to make sure others got a better chance. Times are changing. People are more liberal, more educated and also busier. This is a way by which we can care for our elderly without failing as children. But living here comes with a price that most in China can't afford. It costs anywhere from 250 to 700 US dollars a month which Sun City residents say is worth it. Unlike state-run welfare homes, here they're amongst their own in wider, better surroundings that make them feel happier and more confident. They also feel like less of a burden to their children. With a population aging quickly, the developers of Sun City believe they're on to a winning formula, and it's just a matter of time before more communities like this one spring up across a changing China. Margot Tigas, Al Jazeera, Beijing.